scientists are trying to resurrect mostly dead organ sa euro hey race why when yale university neuroscientist nenad seston used a brew of nutrients proteins and drugs to resuscitate a pig's brain hours after its death he discovered the line between life and death wasn't as clear as head once thought his goal hadn't been to reanimate the brain but rather to study its wiring as soon as he published the sensational results in 2019 interest in his lab's activities flooded in from around the world. A lot of colleagues at Yale and elsewhere came knocking on our door, saying, we need to try this in kidneys, we need to try that, Seston says. All this interest led him and his team to concoct a solution, which they dubbed Organ X, that when pumped through the circulatory system can restore function to multiple organs in an animal that has been dead for more than an hour. I'm a neuroscientist, Seston laughs. In my wildest imagination, I never thought I'd be working on a kidney, heart, or another organ. But the unmet needs of organ transplantation really motivated us. In the United States alone, more than 6,000 patients perish waiting for an organ transplant and every year 700,000 people die due to end-stage organ disease. The World Health Organization estimates that only 10% of people worldwide who need an organ transplant are able to get one yet thousands of donated organs end up in the trash every year because they aren't preserved immediately. In 2012, for example, while 2,421 hearts and 1,634 lungs were transplanted in the U.S., 5,723 donor hearts and 6,510 donor lungs were wasted. After the heart stops pumping, organs must be harvested immediately to be viable for transplant. For this reason, most come from brain-dead organ donors already on life support. Once this support is removed, the organs are preserved a euro typically, by placing them on ice, which slows metabolism and cellular death. But Seston's work could one day push the boundaries of this restriction. What Seston's team did is gain time prior to organ recovery a euro which is important when we talk about expanding the donor pool, says Gerald Brandocker, a transplant surgeon at the Johns Hopkins Reconstructive Transplantation Program, who is intimately familiar with these challenges. Everything in transplant medicine is a race against demi a euro it's our most precious resource. Their work, which was done in pigs and published this August, marks the first time multiple organ sa euro the heart, liver, brain, and kidney sa euro can be rescued and made to function even if the animal hasn't been cooled and has been dead an hour. Recovering multiple organs with one intervention would increase the organ supply by including those that would normally be discarded a euro such as those of patients who die at home and whose bodies can't be retrieved immediately, says David Andrijvik, a physician neuroscientist at Yale and a member of Seston's team. For me, it was really surprising to see that we were able to restore circulation and cells throughout the body, because as soon as you die, there are biochemical cascades that begin to destroy cells and block the flow of blood, says Seston. You can't just take blood that's treated with anticoagulants and perfuse it, which is why this has never been done before a euro it just doesn't work. This research and other similar developments have upended the field of euro transforming our understanding of how and when cells and tissues die, as well as uncovering alternative ways to keep them viable.